Anyone who has heard of The Legend of Zelda has more than likely heard of the Triforce, and even possibly the Light Force. But not many know about THE Force. May the Force be with you. No, not that Force. Well, actually it's not all that different. Stay tuned as I establish the groundwork for a new series of mini-theories, which will explain everything about the Force for The Legend of Zelda series. My name is Andy, and welcome to Zelda. What is this mysterious force I'm referring to, and why did I say it's not all that different from the force in the Star Wars franchise? Let's begin to answer these questions by establishing some definitions. The Deglorians are a microscopic life form that resides within all living cells. They continually speak to us, telling us the will of the force. Basically what my boy Quagon just said was that the force essentially resides in all living things, and in the franchise, an individual's ability to control and understand the Force depends on how many midichlorians reside within them. I'm sure you're now anxious for me to answer the question, how does this relate to The Legend of Zelda? In the world of Zelda, there are many references to supernatural entities that involve the term Force, such as the Triforce, Light Force, Life Force, and even Force Gems. All of these derive from what the Hyrule Historia simply refers to as the Force, which is defined as the sacred power the gods gave to the world. It's the breath of life itself. It also describes the Light Force as a source of infinite power from the heavens that holds the enormous power of the Force, which originally dwelled in all things. Sound familiar? Just like in Star Wars, the Force in The Legend of Zelda is a supernatural source of energy that dwells within all life forms. This concept of the Force is synonymous with the term Life Force as presented in Phantom Hourglass, which is described as a force inside all living things. Here we can see that what I've been calling the Force is seemingly the same thing as the Life Force in Phantom Hourglass, so keep this in mind as I may use these terms interchangeably in this next section. In the game, the main villain is known as Bellum, a demon who absorbs the Life Force from others to make himself more powerful. There is also an ancient deity known as the Ocean King, who in an era long ago was defeated by Bellum and slowly had his life force leached away from him. During the events of Phantom Hourglass, there's an old man named Oshus who, spoiler alert, is the mortal remnant of the great Ocean King. He tells Link, It wasn't enough for Bellum to steal my life force. He had to take what little he could from the people. Here, Oshus is suggesting that not all living things have the same amount of life force. This is logical since it took a lot more effort to drain away the Ocean King's life force compared to that of regular people, and Oshus even deliberately mentions how Bellum was only able to slowly drain his life force, as opposed to mortals who have it drained away from them rapidly. Thus we can conclude that every life form in the Legend of Zelda franchise contains an energy known as the life force, while beings such as gods, dragons, demons, great fairies, etc. would have more life force than regular mortals. The main thing that you the viewer should take away from this video is that the life force that we just discussed from the Phantom Hourglass is the same thing as the force referenced in the Hyrule Historia and Encyclopedia, which we will theorize to be the source of other entities as we mentioned earlier in some of our upcoming videos. I know there's still many questions left to be answered, but the point of this video is to lay a foundation of what the Force is so we can tie many of our future theories together cohesively. We will be referencing this information about the Force in many of our upcoming mini-theories videos to answer some of these questions. What is the Light Force? What is the source of the Master Sword's power? What are Force Gems and Malice? And what are the origins of the Sacred Flames? If any of these topics interest you, please subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you won't miss out when we post one of these videos. Thank you for watching, and we hope to have you with us next time.